r slash credit one street nigerian says what's the bravest thing you've ever done grandpa kel says against medical advice and my siblings wishes my wife and i signed dad out of the assisted living home he was in and took him back home we live next door my wife and i took on the responsibilities of caring for him he died three months later but at least he got to spend those last three months with his feet occasionally in the dirt. He loved his garden, and in his own home that he built, and had lived in for 45 years. Latifitch212 says. Jumped out of a second story window with my two year old sister in my arms, to escape a house fire. Mkeoowa says. My three-year-old son once snatched a hornet out of mid-air, to prevent it from stinging me. Of course it stung his hand, and through his tears he said, but I saved you didn't I, mommy? My heart swells every time I think about it. Kunina says. I told a guy who's much older than me to shut up in public, because his entire conversational style is flirting with women, while Loki insulting every man in the room and my best friend had just died, so I couldn't handle this guy's shit anymore. I realized right away that I'd never told somebody how I felt like that before. Jifferpodge 837 says. Whispered in my daughter's ear that it was okay to give up if she wants to because we were ready to let go. This was right after we ordered the doctors to remove her ventilator. Obviously like every child. She didn't listen to her parents, and did whatever she wants. She's currently lying in bed making spit bubbles, and pulling her hair. Colon close bracket. First time long time says. Left a cult, lost all my family and friends because of it. Best decision ever. Celeste says. Left my abusive husband, now ex, it triggered the worst psychotic break of my life, but fuck it was worth it, I'm doing so much better now. Henry underscore B says. Friend came running, and said there was a snake in his house. Without a word, I jumped up, ran to his place, grabbed the snake, and slung it out his back door. Neji 437 says. At 13, I told my rapist face to face during my statement in court, that I hope he can work on himself, and grow to have children, so that when they reach 13, maybe he can understand how wrong it is for, that child to be coerced and taken advantage of by an adult. And that all I wanted out of the trial was for him to come out of jail knowing what to teach his children not to do. He had already raped me. That part wasn't going to change. I just wanted one less little girl, to go through the same thing. Edit, forgot to throw in that now, 9 years later, he has 2 sons and a daughter. He's a manager at a sandwich shop about 3 hours away from me. I hate to say he has a good life, but I'm happy he didn't continue on a very bad path. Sanidor 499 says. Killed a moose, that was trampling my dog team. In the moment, I knew I had to get closer to the moose to get my gun. If I didn't kill it, it would probably kill all my dogs and maybe me. Without my dogs, I didn't think I could make it back to my truck, a good 20 hours by dogs with a full team of 16. So I unloaded 4 shots from about 8 feet away before the giant bull went down. I put a few more shots in its head to make sure it didn't suffer any more. Running on adrenaline, I was able to load up my injured dogs and limp back to my truck. Feeling brave didn't even hit me, until I got back home, and called my vet, telling her the story. R slash credit. Useful underscore ad underscore 165 says. What are some dark psychology facts you know? Freer 1390 says. A classic would be Milgram's experiments proving a lot of people would administer fatal electric shocks to others, just because an authority figure instructs them to. There has been some criticism of his research, but the basic outcome could be replicated. Lestaldia481 says. All the certainty that people use in talking about brain chemistry is bullshit. We know that the presence of certain chemicals causes behavioral changes, and that we can manipulate those chemicals through drug therapy. 
that's about it. We don't know why it works, we just know that it does. Most of the time. Except when it doesn't. Snoochipmonks126 says. Philip Zimbardo, the guy who ran the Stanford prison experiment, rigged it to get the results he wanted. It's basically useless and the results have never been replicated. Gacha says. The brain is the human's greatest strength and greatest weakness. It is terrifying what the mind can do to someone. In a basic sense, it can twist your perception of reality which can make daily life extremely hard for some people. Delicious underscore Republic 92 says. According to several credible porn site advertisements, there is one weird question that will make any girl instantly want to frick you. Noman Nescio 13 says. The one that messes with me the most is the bystander effect. Basically, the more people witness an event that calls for intervention, accident slash fight slash etc, the less likely it is someone will intervene. Artsy underscore Heather says. There's only one very small part of the brain that takes away or increases empathy. One bad knock on that part of the brain and you're a psychopath. Amanda Cruff says. Very simple, but I would argue the most frightening. We are all just one bad day away from complete psychosis, meaning all bets are off on what you believe, and what you are willing to do. Trixie underscore Mystics says. Stretching the definition of psychology a bit, as someone with a long history of depression and suicidality, this quote from Nietzsche stuck with me, the relatives of a suicide hold it against him that out of consideration for their reputation he did not remain alive, human all too human. Who <laughs> Olivia says. This year there was some big drama about 2006 Alzheimer's research being, almost definitely, fabricated. And, it's easy to make a whole story about how our view of Alzheimer's has been built on a life for 15 years. And yeah, a lot of time probably got wasted on doctored reports. That said, what I think is even darker, is that scientific studies on the whole, are usually wrong, especially psychology as it's more rapidly developing. A lot of people I imagine, are not really stunned to hear that whatever research from whatever year is fake, because the same happens, even when intentions are good. It's really really easy for bias to affect data, and in science there is so much force from publications to get interesting results, that researchers are essentially duped into faking results without explicitly intending it. R slash credit. Beach Bull says. What's the worst Christmas present you received? Spellingera says. The only gift my mother-in-law had given me. A card with this written inside. Hope you have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to my mother-in-law. From her other son-in-law, she re-gifted the card she got the day before from my sister-in-law husband. Feldbelo says. A life-sized cardboard cute out of Robert Pattinson's Edward Cullen from Twilight. It was my dad. I was 18. Ferocious Tiger 97 says. My mom bought me one of those 3D posters that were all the rage on the 90s. I'm blind in one eye. Raff Raff says. Body spray that wasn't even axe, but even worse. Dear 2 Bear says. Being dumped by my ex on X Mars and the other my dad died on X Mars. Frequent Particular 42 says. Two shirts from my middle the thing is she asked my husband my size, and she got them two sizes to small. Then complained I never wore them, I know she got them to small on purpose, so I wouldn't wear them, so then she could make a big deal about never giving me stuff cause I don't appreciate anything. Also when I told her they were way too small and my husband told her she knew my size cause he told her she said I just needed to lose weight. I was already about 115 pounds. So yeah. Elbow deep in shark as he says. Homemade tea that smells like sushi sheep farts. Complex 49 says. A child's light up Batman watch. I was 21 at the time. I'm in touch with my inner child, but that was a bit silly. Coffee underscore tea underscore sympathy says. First class flight complimentary toiletry slash travel items from my mill. 
Gizmogia dog says. A dozen pence, and a pair of scissors from a boyfriend. Igid says. My brother got me 10 bucks, and on it he wrote, Frick, you, you don't deserve shit I gave this to the bank, and got a normal 10 euros. Wholesome underscore weeb says. A breakup text. Tash D267 says. Pneumonia. Lady of Change says. One kilogram of flour. Catacombs Rave says. And pair of men's sunglasses. I'm a man, but I hate men's sunglasses, and love the women's ones. My mom only wanted me to use men's products, though she got my female cousin a pair of men's jeans that same Christmas. Frick I'm thanks, mom. Lo underscore at 9733 says. Brand new sweater, that was too big for me bus suspiciously prefect fit for her son. Goku underscore ultra underscore instinct says. A broken neck. When I was 16, my older brother and I were climbing a tree and my jealous little cousin shook the tree, and I tumbled out, breaking my neck, I'm fine now, the fracture was luckily not one that paralyzed or killed me. That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.